Howdy everyone, this is your buddy BP, and no, your eyes do not deceive you. This is Bloodborne. I <laughs> know, crazy, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure you'd never thought I'd be playing a game like this, but you know, I've always kind of wanted to get into these kind of games, these Souls sort of games, where these, these action-adventure um, games that are uh, known for being very challenging. I've always wanted to get into them, but always had a hard time. In fact, you might remember... Um, back when Dark Souls 3 came out, I tried it, and it was really my first true experience with the Souls game. And, uh, spoiler alert, I'll leave a link to it at the end of the video if you really want to watch it. But, spoiler alert, I didn't do so hot. In fact, I, I didn't even beat the tutorial boss. I kind of just gave up. It, it was pretty shameful. Um, and I figured, like, eh, these games just aren't for me, I'll never come back. But eventually, but you know, I keep wanting to try these games out. I keep wanting to, you know, try and conquer these games. And after doing some research, I, I read that uh, uh, Bloodborne is a great way, a great sort of entry point into this uh, series of games. It's a little bit more, uh, it's easier for newer players to get into, from what I understand. I really started wanting to get into it after watching the video that H Bomber guy made about it. I'll, I'll try and leave a link to his video in the description if you want to watch it. It's a long video. It's like well over an hour long, so I hope you have some uh, some free time on your hand if you really want to watch it. But it's a very well made video. It's it's really just fantastic. And I wanted and I figured, you know what? I want to give this game a shot because it's really cheap now. It's been out for like two years. Uh, and I went and got it at a GameStop new for like 20 bucks. Of course, then the next day I stopped by a Best Buy and they had it on sale for 15. And you and would you believe it? Uh, GameStop was selling it used for like 18 bucks. It really, like you could get it cheaper new at Best Buy. You know, power to the players, I suppose. But anyway, uh, this is me fighting the uh, cleric beast. I actually beat this boss once before on a different run when I first started playing. And would you believe it, I actually beat him on the first try, but I wasn't really satisfied with it because I kind of beat him in a really cheesy and shameful way. I was kind of just like uh, spamming uh, Molotov cocktails at him and just uh, really playing super cautiously with the axe. And even though I beat him, I didn't really feel satisfied because I didn't really feel like I was good. I was like getting better at the game. I felt like I was just kind of cheesing it. I was just being really... Um, just, I just wasn't really playing the way the game uh, wanted me to play. The, ga the way I was supposed to play it. So I figured I'd go back, do a little bit of research, try it again, because the thing about these Souls games is like they never tell you shit. Like, you can tell I'm going for visceral attacks here, but the game never really explains how visceral attacks work. If you're in like the Hunter's Dream, it'll like tell you like what you're supposed to do, but it'll never really demonstrate it for you. I had to go online and look it up, which is kind of a pain in the butt. But eventually I figured it out, and I decided to just create a new character that was more uh, skill-based instead of strength-based. And uh, I decided to go back and uh, give this uh, fight another shot. And it was in this fight where I felt like the game finally clicked with me, like I finally uh, figured it out. I was like, okay, this is what I really need to be doing. This is how I should be playing. And uh, of course this isn't perfect, you know, I'm still kind of uh, wasting some resources here, but... I feel like I'm learning, like even watching it now, I'm like, okay, uh, I see now what I should be doing, I need to be doing a better job timing my shots, you know, I need to be a little less wasteful with my resources, namely with my um, with my health regen items, but you know, it, it felt like it finally clicked with me, and I don't think I'm ready to go back to the Souls game yet, but you know, I, I felt like, you know, I was getting it, the, um, the game, like I finally understood it now. And, uh, I feel like I'm kind of enjoying it. I've only been playing the game for a couple days now, but I feel a little satisfied in uh, my knowledge that I finally, um, come to understand this game. Not sure if I'll do it for the channel. I guess if you guys really want me to, I can do it. It, it won't be for a few weeks before I get ready. And to be honest, I kind of feel like I want to play through it on my own before I do, like, a less play for the channel. I really feel like I have a lot to learn, and I kind of want to figure out the game's mechanics a little bit more before I um, start making a series out of it. And besides, I'm working on another series. I'm almost done with it. Uh, it'll be coming up real soon, probably next week. But, uh, yeah, I just want to go ahead and post this video, talk a little bit about Bloodburn, uh, Bloodburn, Bloodborne, rather, and how I'm finally starting to get interested in it, how I'm finally fe uh, feeling like I'm figuring these games out. 
Uh, and I uh, just wanted to get a get a sense of where you guys are at. See if uh, you're interested in uh, seeing me play these games or not. Uh, but yeah, that's it. I'll go ahead and let the rest of this fight play, I suppose. Uh, if you're uh, interested in seeing a Let's Play, let me know down in the comment section. Or if you have any advice on how to play this game, you know, <laughs> I'll take all I can get. The game doesn't even come with a damn instruction manual, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, if you have any advice on how to play, let me know. Uh, I'll have um, uh, more videos coming out soon. Uh, still playing more Smite. All of that good stuff. Uh, until the meantime, if you like this video, then uh, spank that like button. Also, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section if you have any feedback for me. I love hearing back from you, and I'll try and I try to respond to as many people as I can. And as always, y'all be good to each other, and I will see you in the next video.